There's a land up north with miles and miles of pristine shoreline, with crystal blue water that could be mistaken for the Caribbean, sand dunes rising to greet you, and rivers that flow wild and free. It was created beautifully by the hand of God and later coined Pure Michigan. Join us as we explore this land up north. Expedition, <laughs> yeah. pure Michigan, getting ready to hit the dunes. Not the first time he's driven a Jeep by any means. First time he's driven them in sand. Yeah. <laughs> ready to go, Grant? Yeah. All right. Mommy, you ready to go? I'm ready to go. All right. You got our instruction. Put the pedal to the floor. Got the, uh, the action the cam ready. <laughs> this last hole is the deepest here. You're going to pretty much go vertical here. Nice and easy going in this one. And you're gonna need full power to get out of this one. <laughs> Mom, Mom's not freaking out or anything. She would never want to drive on this, would you? Make sure you wait for that bumper to rise a little bit before you give it full power. It's pretty cool though what these things will do. There you go, good job. So rise. Ready? Ready? Full power. Here's your oh point. yeah. You're it's putting it clear to the floor, huh? No, not clear. All right, so Jeep number one, what you're going to do is slowly build up your speed. Go ahead. Just slowly build up your speed. Speed, speed, and ready, set. Put your foot to the floor and leave it there. Woo! Go all the way to the floor. Yeah. Climb the hill. Perfect. Now go, yeah. All right, number two. <laughs> build your speed up. To his right. Build up your speed, speed, speed. Ready, and foot to the floor. Leave it there. Don't let off the gas. All the way to the floor. Bingo. All right, number three. That was a freaking rush. That was awesome this afternoon. <laughs> All right, you look at speed. Speed, speed ready. Oh, and yeah. to the floor. To the floor. That was a rush. Leave it there. Climb that hill. Perfect. It's so exhilarating, isn't it? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I like what I'm seeing. Are you guys sure you guys have done this before? Because you guys are pretty good. You can line up to the left a little bit. Maybe it's going over the side. All right, I'm going to go first. You're going to, I'm going to call you over one at a time. This is what we're going to do. Just one at a time, and I'll walk you through it. So stay here, don't move. You're going to start your speed. You're going to give it full power. Stay on the gas the whole time. And as you, you're going to start making your right hand turn. And you can see my tracks. You're going to just follow right in my tracks the whole way. All right, number one, go ahead. Remember, stay in that power. Ready? Full power. Climb the hill. Follow in my tracks. That's right. Come on over here. No brakes, no brakes. Perfect. Number two, come on up. Oh, baby. There you go. <laughs> Doing well. Go to his right. Full right. power. He's Number three, come on up. Three. Full power. Turn to the right. Turn to the right.
we're fishing the Boardman River outside of Traverse City, Michigan. Never fished it before. It's supposed to be Browns and Brookies in here. And uh, we'll be fishing, I'll be fishing uh, Euro style with a uh, green waltz at the bottom and a flashy fly up top um, on the dropper. Fishing a 10 foot, 10, 10 foot two weight. And uh, we'll see what happens. Water's flowing pretty good. Michigan. See that, Blake? <laughs> He's a little guy, but he hit the green. Well, I'm not sure what he hit. He came off too quick. All right, there's why you hear him, yeah? A little wild Michigan brownie right there. First one. First one of my life. This water's running plenty cold. Cold enough for trout. Yeah, I wouldn't want to wait wade this. Like another little wild brownie. Now they're in here. A little wild brownie, second Michigan brownie. Teeny little guy. Tell you what, Blake, this water is plenty cold. Wow. That's a brookie. He hit the little flashy, I guess you'd call it a waltz up top. That's a wild fish. Wild, pure Michigan. Brookie right there. There you go. Camera's rolling. It's a respectable fish. Brookie or brown? A little brown. Right here. 
one, that, that one hit on the bottom walls. Number four, wild Michigan brown trout. Small, but pretty. There you go. There we go. <laughs> All little guys, but at least they're fish. Number oh, that was number six. Still catching the little guys. Huge, but he's gonna be the biggest of the day. It's it's they're catchable. It seems like the volume in here is just not huge. Unless we're but then again trying to save the unless that's just because they just don't want it to be screwed up. That over there just got so much timber in it. Some of the stuff definitely lends itself a little more to dry dropper because of the, or that, that that's a, a reason to use some dry dropper. like the Sardine River. Number seven. Oh, it's a little brookie. I mean, and little brookies like that shouldn't be that hard to catch. Number eight, still nothing big. I mean, catching them, getting right by that wood and not snagging. All right, Boardman River is a wrap. Uh, caught around 11, caught 11, 11 fish actually between me and Blake in less than three hours, but nothing of any size, so. Um, the first time ever fishing it. Um, not sure. Uh, uh, it certainly could be better places to fish it. But uh, anyway, we got out, gave it a whirl, caught 11 in less than three hours. So uh, now on the Sleeping Bear Dunes. That's where we're at now. At a lookout where we can see some of the Sleeping Bear Dunes.
believe so. This is crazy. Look at that fog or the clouds. 